In today's video, I'm going to teach you a great base defense in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is basically focused on how I can help you get better in Madden NFL 20. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be breaking down just kind of a base defense. We talked about this in my five sets for success video, but the first set for success is to have some type of base defense from which you can operate out a lot of different things. And for me this year, I really like the nickel 335 normal as a base defense. So I'm in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook, nickel 335 normal. And the reason that I like this, this is kind of what you want to look for in a base defense. Number one, how does it do against the quick pass? How does it do against slants, streaks, all those different things? Number two, can you send pressure from it? Well, with the nickel 35, there's some different blitzes that you can set up. You can send some passive pressure at it. Can you call all the coverages, right? Well, with the nickel 35, you can call a variety of different coverages that are going to help you. Um, one of the ones that I really like is the cover four drop in combination with the cover two, right? Can you, um, what what can you do with your hot routes? Well, one of the cool parts about the nickel 335 is there's three middle linebackers, which means that you're going to be able to sub in safeties at linebacker all the way across your defense, and they're all going to be able to play in man-to-man -man coverage. So with the Ravens, this is really good. With, with any team, this is really, really effective. So I want to I want to show you one of, the, one of the audibles I like to set up from here is LB Cross. And I learned this from um, I learned this from I think Brian Buttons, one of our subscribers here. But this is a really decent run defense. And if you if they come out in like a heavy running set, you want to come out in a play like this strong safety Mike Cross, and then you want to audible to LB Cross, and then you basically want to um, I think pinch your line, spread your linebackers. Brian can let you know in the comments what the exact setup is. But again, nickel 335, strong safety might cross. This is just a really good defense for a variety of different things. I find this defense just kind of gives people trouble. It's a nice base defense. What I also like about it is I can, within one or two clicks, I can be in my run defense or I can be in a defense that's going to send pressure. So I like the fact that I have that flexibility from the nickel 335. And this is some of what makes a really good base defense. Not only can I call the coverages, it's it's also kind of good against the run, kind of good against the ha the pass. It's not necessarily dominant against either, but um, it's very, very effective. Okay, so what I like to do in the beginning of the game is I like to come out and cover for drop. I like to uh, base a line. I like to sh uh, shade coverage down, shade coverage up, and then from there... What I'll tend to do out of this cover four drop is I'll take this guy right here, Levine, and I'll put him on a QB spy. And you'll notice what this does is it kind of it kind of deters a base run. As you can see here, he does get a couple, he does get 10 yards there, but it's hard to use her on both sides of the ball. But that QB spy will deter a little bit of the running game. One of the things I also like to do is what you could do is you could also man align and you could show blitz. You see what happens when you show blitz? You see how the safeties come down into the box? And then what you can do from there is um, you can put those safeties. If you really want to stop the run this year, remember the key trick to doing that is to put your safeties in QB spies. Now they're going to look to play a little bit more run defense. They're also going to play, you know, kind of the underneath zones. So, you know, with, because you have all middle linebackers on the field, one of the things that you could do, and when you do show blitz, it is critical to shade coverage up. Make sure that you shade coverage down and shade coverage up because your corners are now pressed up one-on-one. -on -one, and if, if I see something like this, what I'm going to do very, very simply is I'm just going to hot route that left side guy to a streak and I'm going to see if I can outrun him. You see, with the Packers, I don't have the I don't have the best um, I don't have the fastest receiver. But if that's someone like Tyreek Hill, that's just something to be aware of on the field. Okay, in Mutt, you probably don't have to worry about it as much because you're able to have these 99 guys. But again, I like to just kind of show blitz out of this. This is going to be really effective for a lot of different things that they're going to try to do. Now, a pressure setup. What you could do with Smith here is you could blitz him. And one of the options you can do is you can actually slide him in and QB contain. And then from there, you'll see 
if we send the pressure it doesn't always come in but sometimes it'll come in off that right edge now again this is not our blitzing defense right this is just a simple passive pressure you know very very basic and what i like to do is basically cycle through the coverages you'll see me run a lot of tampa 2 out of this specific coverage and when i bring these safeties into the box here you're going to see those outside corners are going to get stretched if they are playing some type of um, some type of really good zone coverage you see in the tampa 2 your slot corners blitzing as is and it's kind of a delay blitz but again it's just some passive pressure one of the things that you can do if you want the blitz to come in is you can um, globally blitz your linebackers and you'll see here, let me get him back here, show, uh, show blitz. But you'll see here, this is just like a, a simple five-man pressure set up off that left edge. And you're going to get some passive pressure in the B-gap. One of the other things that you could do from this is you could also maybe maybe audible down to the LB cross. And then you could you could do some other things with that as well. So you got really, really good blitz angles from this specific defense. And the snap of the ball, you're just going to let those blitz angles kind of loop in and do the work. As you see there, we're going to be able to get some passive pressure. 3-3-5 is not a defense that you're going to want to be sending a lot of pressure at your quarterback. However, what you are going to want to be doing is you're going to want to be sending passive pressure. That's kind of the... That's kind of the key to the 3-3-5. Are you, are you sending passive pressure? Um, you want to have maybe a nose guard that has the power move specialist. But what I do a lot of times is I will sit. If they come out, and, and the cover four is actually a lot better now with some of the adjustments that they've made to the game. Shade coverage down and then shade coverage up. This is going to be a nice little base defense that I'm going to be able to just simply user, you know, whatever they want to do and again my job as the user is typically going to be the right seams what i like about the cover four is also that those deep blue zones and this is just my opinion in madden i think deep blue zones are worth their weight in gold um, because of the fact that you can click on and they can make a lot of plays for you so again if they are in some type of running set i would recommend just spying your safeties user your middle linebacker over the middle of the field and you're going to see that they're going to have a little bit more tough time running the ball with something like that. You don't want to be running this against an I-form tight or whatever. If they come out in I-form tight, then you're going to come out in cover two man. You're going to globally blitz all your linebackers down. You're going to shade, um, spy your safeties, and you're going to shade your coverage over the top. And then you're just going to stand in this gap. And you'll see here, if they try to run against something like this, now all of a sudden they're going to have an issue because the 3-3-5 three, three, wide plays the run really well. That's why it's our run defense. And we'll go over that in tomorrow's video when we talk about stopping the run. But it's just a really good defense, guys. Um, it's, it's one that you can do a lot of cool adjustments on. So, for example, I can take my... Um, left of screen linebacker Levine, and I can hot route him to a deep blue zone. I can also put him in a, a curl flat. I can put him in a mid read, and I can put him in a uh, hook curl. So there's some really, really good hot routes that you can be doing out of this. Um, one of the things... As you see, you know I can do I can do a lot of different coverages with this. Another thing that's really good about this is I can man up my linebacker on anyone on the field. As you can see, I can man up him on Devonte Adams. So you can do a lot of different cross manning for people who run crossing routes and everything. So this is, again, just a base defense, get you started, get you kind of understanding what they're going to do. This is a defense I really, really like in the beginning of games because I think it's really, really difficult to consistently move the ball when you're able to constantly adapt and adjust your coverages so much. In my opinion, you can adjust your coverage more in this specific formation than any in the game because you have those three middle linebackers and the safeties. You have five people that can be cross-manned onto somebody. So you could literally cross-man their whole team and you could play Tampa 2. One of the other, I'll show you that defense actually really quickly. So a lot of people will run, a lot of people will run something like this. But what I would like to do is you could basically come out and cover two. And then what you can do is you can start manning people up. So I would probably leave that slot. Um, let me see if I can't adjust him. Put him on a vertical hook right there. And then I would take my guys and literally um, I would man them up on cross man or just so that they have inside position. Something like this right here. And then the only thing that my job is 
Let me get that man coverage assignment. Well, for some reason that didn't work. Let me get that on this guy then. But you see, there, everyone on the everyone on the field is cross man, and then I'm coming in, and then I'm coming in this deep blue zone, and then you've got Jimmy Smith here that you could kind of you could do a lot of different things with him as well. But the vertical hook, in my opinion, is really really good for crossing routes and everything. But basically, you got the left side of the field, um, you got the left side of the field zoned out, and then your your user is is basically going to drop in the deep middle third, and you're going to see at the snap of the ball, this is going to create some issues. This is going to look a little bit wonky. It's not going to be cleaning. It's not going to, it's just a different look. Okay. So that's what I would recommend doing with this. Again, you've got the cover two, you've got the cross manning, you've got the cover four. Nine times out of 10, if you see me in this defense, nine times out of 10, if you see me in this defense, I'm going to be in Tampa two and I'm going to actually leave the corners backed off because I think the delay is so, so effective. And I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of concede the inside zone if I'm facing a passer. If I'm facing a runner, I'll probably be in my run defense, which we'll talk about in tomorrow's video. But I'm going to concede the underneath. The Tampa 2, I love the Tampa 2 this year. One of the other defenses that you'll see me, though, run a lot in combination with it is this cover 4 because from the cover 4, then you can do a lot of different things, right? I love the way that I can get to out routes from this cover four. That's one of the best things about this. So you'll see here, if I shade coverage out, you see he can get out there because of his positioning within the defense. So thanks for watching this video. And if this video was helpful to you, what I want to encourage you to do is I want to encourage you to join our Discord server. A link will be provided in the description. We're trying to get to 100 people on Discord. And once we hit 100 people on Discord, we are going to be giving away a free offensive and defensive guide on that Discord server. So you don't want to miss that. It's going to keep you up to date on all the latest things that's coming out for Madden. It's also going to give you access to me on a one-on-one -on -one level.